First Nations leaders, experts, and residential school survivors are meeting in Vancouver this week for the third national gathering on missing children and unmarked burials. It's a meeting focused on the challenges Indigenous communities are facing as they search for unmarked graves at former residential school sites. As Belle Puri reports this morning, the gathering is also looking this year at who can access and control some key information in that search. The aim of the National Gathering is to craft a path for unmarked burial searches at former residential school sites for survivors. It's a time to come together to face various unknowns in their communities. I experienced it uh, personally myself. I was also in the uh, 60th scoop. And so I understand uh, and I can be able to relate with it. And so we need to be able to call our family together. Just like branches on a tree, we all moved uh, and grew in our own direction, yet our root, uh, you know, is the one that really keeps us the same. So it's really important that we all help each other. We want communities to learn from each other and we want them to know they're not in this work alone. Kimberly Murray was appointed last year to work with Indigenous communities to help them search for unmarked graves. Over two years, she will attend seven gatherings. This is the third. The two last fall were in Edmonton and Winnipeg. Access to records and control of the records is something I hear about all the time. So uh, we decided that we would hold a whole national gathering and com commit the three days to discussions about Indigenous status sovereignty, um, how we get the records back, who should control them, uh, and who should get access to them. Most of the people who will attend are from communities that are engaged right now in doing searches on former school grounds for missing children. We need to also put closure to uh, this particular uh, thing that is, ch is challenging us and we need to work with the family to be able to provide the support and assist for them to do that necessary closure so it's really important. Once all of the work is done, a report will go to the Federal Minister of Justice as well it will go to First Nations, Métis and Inuit communities, survivors and their families. A progress report is due in June, the final report a year later. Belle Puri, CBC News, Vancouver.